Alright, uh, I just got finished working out and I decided I just need to film a video. If I don't do it now, I'm not going to do it at all and I need to throw out this huge bag of trash because I'm overlooking at it. That is the downfall of saving things for your empties videos is you just have a bag of trash laying around and I can't wait to throw this out. So let's go through it together. This is going to be a video about the products that I would definitely repurchase or not. Typically they're called empties videos. They seem to do pretty well on my channel and I do like kind of reviewing my products with you guys. So if you want to continue seeing the empties videos, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, that would be fabulous. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos from me. I have a bunch of different content on my channel. I like to do vlogs, I like to do cooking or baking videos, I like to do product reviews. I just like to do a little bits of this and a little bit of that. That's just kind of who I am. So if you're into that, you like my personality, then hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have any suggestions as to what videos you wanna see from me, let me know down below. I'm always open. I like to try different things out, so yeah. Let's get into all this trash. We're gonna do like a little grab and go situation because typically I like to categorize what I'm about to talk about, but not today. We're just gonna grab and talk. So the first thing I grabbed was this Dr. Teal's foaming bath in Epsom salt with lavender. I do really like this, it's a bubble bath. I would repurchase this. I want to try the Honest Company's bubble bath though and kind of compare which one I like better, but this is definitely more bang for your buck, I believe. Bang for your buck. <clears throat> Sorry, something's stuck in my throat. Not quite sure what it is. Hopefully nothing too serious, but yeah, I would repurchase. Then we have the La Mer Deep Healing Hydrating Mask. Now, let me tell you, my friend gave this to me. I personally would not spend how much this costs for this mask. Did I see a big difference when I use the mask? I see about like 60%. I was impressed and I was like, yeah, absolutely. I can see why people love this mask. The other percentage that is left out is because it's so dang expensive. I do love to invest in good quality skincare because I think the base to your face is so important when it comes to putting on your makeup or it's just not gonna look good. I might repurchase this product, but the price point, man, but I liked it. I did. I did see like my fine lines reduce a little bit, which was nice. And I did see like this beautiful radiant glow on my skin, which was making me feel myself. So I see a bunch of candles. So let's just dive into that because we all know, well, if you don't know, I love candles. Like kind of my obsession and my hobby at the same time. It's just something that I absolutely love to collect and to do as a hobby is to burn candles make my place smell so good it, it's like the biggest compliment when someone comes into my house is like your place smells amazing and i'm like <laughs> i know i take pride in that i feel like i'm kind of annoying in this video i feel like i'm talking weird am i talking weird i don't know all right the first candle that i want to talk to you guys about is the key lime pie candle from bath and body works most of my candles are from bath and body works this one is a great candle on cold on cold means when it's not burning what you initially smell like this it's smells like Fruit Loops to me. Straight up Fruit Loops, not getting much key lime pie. The fragrance notes are zesty key lime, graham cracker crust, and a dollop of meringue. When I burn this candle like halfway down, it just starts to smell plasticky. So would I pick it up again? <sighs> I have one more in my collection. I don't know if like I'll burn it or put it on my wax warmer. When I put it on the wax warmer, I definitely didn't get as much of that plasticky scent, but I don't know, like I like it. I probably would pick up maybe one more, but I don't like need to hoard this candle. The next candle I have here is Saltwater Taffy. Absolutely love this candle. And the fragrance notes are chewy vanilla cream, fresh berries, and juicy cherry. It's so good so good i like i absolutely love it it was in my top summer candles that's a video that i also did if you haven't checked it out yet check that out um love this candle absolutely would repurchase this it didn't come out this year so this is why bath and body works just makes me so angry because they'll come out with this amazing fragrance and then it could be gone forever or just for a couple of years so that's why people stock up on their fragrances that they love because they're afraid that bath and body works typically won't bring it back so this is a candle i do have i think two more of it started to get really smoky so i did put it on my wax warmer that's why there's still some wax in it and when you put your candles on wax warmers it doesn't evaporate the wax it just 
lets the fragrance out into the room. So love this candle, saltwater taffy, amazing. Pick it up if you see it at like candle day, which is Bath and Body Works biggest candle sale. Then we have Nature's Wick in the vanilla macaroon scent. I do like the wood wick candles. I think it just adds like a really nice ambiance because you get that crackle to a fireplace if you don't have a fireplace. I have a faux electric fireplace, so I don't get that like natural crackly sound. So I got it from this candle. I do like this candle. I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because they are more expensive than Bath and Body Works candles. There's not really any sales, but this was gifted to me, so bring on the gifts. If you want to give me a, a Woodwick candle for a gift, I'm here for it. I just probably wouldn't repurchase it so I could put my money elsewhere. All right, now this is not a candle, but this is the Method Dish Soap in Clementine. I love the smell of citrus on my dishes. I don't have a dishwasher, so I have to hand wash everything, and I really did like this. This is like more of a green dish soap. I think it's a little bit of green washing. I don't know if it's super, super clean as a non-toxic dish soap. I, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I would repurchase this. In fact, I have recently repurchased this. I also love the name Clementine. I think it's so cute. Then we have the Tea Tree Hand Wash from Trader Joe's as my hand soap in my kitchen. I do really like this. It has this eucalyptus aloe scent and tea tree, of course. And it just smells really, really good and like almost spa-like. And I'm surprised that Ryan likes this because he's not really into those like super strong spa essential oil type smells but it really works well on his sensitive hands and Ryan uh, if you don't know he's a dog groomer and so he has to constantly be working with his hands constantly be washing them and he really enjoys this one and his hands are sensitive so he needs to make sure he finds hand soaps that don't bother him oh for a beauty product we have the morphe brush bristle brush blah, 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 blah. bristle shampoo so basically this is your brush kind of like wash but it's in a lotion form and I wouldn't repurchase it because I, it's not that it didn't work it just like was a process to take it rub it into your brushes and I really just love my Trader Joe's fruit and veggie wash I use that to wash my brushes I just put a little bit into some water and it just it really gets everything off I put it in multiple vlogs so not that this doesn't work it's just I have an alternative for my brushes we do have another bag Bath and Body Works candle. It's the berry waffle cone candle. The fragrance notes is sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, creamy vanilla. I love this candle. And this packaging is like very nostalgic for me because it just reminds me of California, kind of like Coachella vibes. I've never been to Coachella, but just the packaging on this gives me Coachella vibes. This candle and the packaging will just always remind me of living in California and just like this, this time of my life. Just this like time of my life in my 20s and I love this scent so much it reminds me of one of my favorite desserts my berry crumble I did a video on that too if you want like a really nice fresh summer dessert check out my berry crumble you can also switch out the berry for apple in the fall I do have to say though that it was pretty pretty light and like when I burn candles I want it to be like a really strong room filler that's just me I mean not headache inducing but like I definitely want to smell it and I have to say like like, this was not doing it for me. And this was number, oh, I shouldn't tell you. Go watch that video of my top summer candles. But I have to say, things change. Things change, so stay tuned for next year's. Then we have the Trader Joe's Grapefruit and Lemon Hand Sanitizer Spray. Love this stuff. I mean, I love this because I kept it in my car. If I had to go to the gas station, I would spritz that handle all up and down. This is really nice, very affordable. I don't like the lavender one that they have and it's more expensive. It smells like weed afterwards. Like after you spray it and you put it on your hands, you get like an initial lavender scent. But then afterwards, you just get like this waft of weed that you sometimes get in California because it's legal here. And I'm just like, ugh. Some people love that scent. I personally just can't do it. It's just stinky to me. Then we have this Kiehl's Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask. I got this as a sample in my Sephora sale. And I don't love the texture of it. It's very avocado-y and creamy but it does definitely nourish my skin. I do feel hydrated. 
I don't think I would repurchase this item. I don't think it doesn't not work. I just didn't like love it enough to want to get it again. But when I did have it, I did enjoy it and I was glad to have it. I just don't think I like would. I love other kinds of masks. So I probably wouldn't pick this up again unless like it was a free sample. All right, so now we have some wax melts and then a few beauty products and we're done. So for the wax melts, if you don't know, a wax warmer is what you can put your wax melts in. And instead of burning your candles, because burning them can cause extra heat in your apartment. So when it's summertime, I just wanna make sure that I'm not adding extra heat because my air conditioning doesn't work really well and I get really hot. So I like to put a candle on my wax warmer or use these wax melts. This one is Twisted Twinkies from Midnight Daydream Company and I did like this one. I probably would repurchase. It's pumpkin, Duluth, Twinkies, waffle, wafers, and vanilla bean Noel. It's really good. I wouldn't say that it's like a very fall scent and I try not to burn out of season, but this smelled very vanilla to me, but I might repurchase it. Then this one is a soda pop pound cake, lemon lime soda pound cake topped with a sugary glaze. Loved this scent. I would absolutely be repurchasing this. This made my kitchen smell like so fresh and lemony and limey and you get this like legit fizz, which is crazy that like in a wax or a fragrance you can smell all that fizz. Then we have pumpkin doodle, cornbread, pumpkin whoopie pies, snickerdoodle cookies, and cornbread. I like this. I didn't love it, but it definitely gives me fall vibes. And I'm excited because if you don't know, fall is my absolute favorite time of the year. So like just smelling this makes me so excited for that time. I'm trying to stay in the summer vibes because you know, stay in the present kills. When I smelled this, I was excited for fall time. It was good, but I can't wait to try out his other fall scents, which are gonna be released on Friday, and I'm so excited. Uh, this one is gummy bears, sweet and fruity gummy bears. It really does smell like the Harboro gummy candies that I used to be obsessed with in high school. Ryan used to get them for me all the time at lunchtime. And so this reminds me, the scent, which is so cool about fragrance, is it can connect you to memories, and I think that's why I love it so much, because it can create that feeling. This reminds me of just us in our high school days together, and it just reminds me a lot of our relationship. Then we have from Destination Wax, which I just picked up in my last haul, was the Strawberry Seeds Sweet and Zesty Strawberry. It's good and it's in my warmer right now, but it's really not filling up my apartment and I live in a studio apartment, so I really feel like my reviews are pretty strong because if it doesn't fill up my studio apartment, it's not going to be filling up a whole house. And personally, like that is what would I, this, what I would want in a home fragrance. Not for everyone, I understand that, but hopefully, the other scents will come through stronger than that one. And then lastly for the wax, I have the Apple Crunch Cookies from Southbound Co. And I really do like this one. I probably would pick it up again. I was just feeling an apple scent and I remembered I had this and it's so good. The fragrance for this is crisp apple, warm cinnamon blends into a sweet cookie dough with crushed almonds and vanilla cream. And it comes off beautifully in this, especially when melting. Like my place smelled so good and it made me want to go eat an apple. I wanted to eat an apple crisp, but I've been trying to work on this figure, so I didn't do it. I enjoyed the apple without the, all the extra sugar and butter and oats. <laughs> the time will come. Fall is around the corner. And I will be indulging. That is why I'm getting it together now, so during fall time, I can just eat all the fall goodies I, I want. So I have the Court Organics Lavender Room Spray Mist, or just a calming mist in general. You can spray it on your face. You can spray it on your pillows. There's still stuff in here, so I'm going to like kind of just like dab it onto like a cotton pad, put it on my face. But the nozzle broke, and so I couldn't spray it without it getting all over my hands. I, I liked it. It wasn't my favorite lavender mist that I ever used, and her pride her products are a little bit expensive. So if you guys are looking for a budget friendly lavender, I really would just make your own. I would get the Young Living essential oil in lavender, and then just make your own spray bottle with water, and it does the exact same thing. And you can kind of make your own strength of how strong you want the lavender to spray out. Then we have the Tarte Sex Kitten Black Eyeliner, and I do love this. It's a liquid eyeliner. It's so cute. It has like a little kitten at the top here. Look, look at me. I am a beauty guru. Who knew? Love this liquid eyeliner. It's really good. It's one I've been using for many, many years. I need to repurchase this because I let the cap fall off and it is completely dried out. I need to pick up a new one ASAP, and then I also used up my Honest. Anastasia Browiz in the 
color taupe. No, it's brow definer in the color taupe. It, this has worked for me as a blonde and a redhead. I have been platinum blonde, I have been a coppery blonde, and then I've been this. I kind of feel like my hair is almost like a brown red right now, but I also was that like extreme red. So this taupe has been working for all the hair colors that I have been, and I really do enjoy this, but I think I found one from the drugstore that is cheaper and does the same thing. I'm still testing it out and I will let you guys know for sure. Speaking of pillow mist, I also had this deep sleep pillow spray from This Works. I don't know what kind of essential oils they're putting in this, but it's almost like a spicy muskiness with that lavender and it's so calming to me. And then lastly, another mist that we have here is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. It just makes your skin so like freaking dewy and glowy, just like everything I want my skin to look, this finishes it off for me. When my skin may not be looking like the way I want it to be after I've done my makeup and I can't figure out what the heck is wrong, like why isn't it coming all together? Because I haven't sprayed this on, that's why. I have some dry skin, so this really hydrates it as well. If you guys are oily, I don't know how this would work out for you. Definitely check them out. They are on the pricier side. So again, Sephora sale. That's the only time I shop at Sephora. And that is coming up, I believe, in November. So that's it for my empties. Well, aka my trash. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. It feels so good to throw stuff out. Bye.